Hi there, welcome to my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make kulcha. Kulcha is an Indian flatbread. It tastes a lot like naan, but the recipe that I'm using today contains no yeast, no eggs, so great for vegetarians. So let's go ahead and get started. Now here in my bowl I have two cups of all-purpose flour, that's maida, and in this we'll go ahead and add half a teaspoon salt and one teaspoon sugar. Next we'll go ahead and add soda bicarbonate, that's baking soda, about half a teaspoon. And soda bicarbonate, that's baking soda, works really, really well with uh, something that has acidity in it. So we are going to add some yogurt. So I'm using about four tablespoons of yogurt here and we'll go ahead and make a dough. Now as we are making the dough, if in case we need a little bit more yogurt, we'll go ahead and add that. And then we'll keep this dough aside for about 30 minutes and then we'll start making our kulchas. Now you can make kulcha either in the oven and for that the oven has to be really really hot like the maximum setting or you can make it on the stove top on a skillet basically. The traditional way, the kulcha is normally made in the tandoor. But since we don't have tandoor at home, we can use oven. It will take like five to seven minutes in the oven at highest maximum settings. Or we can make it on the skillet, but the skillet has to be really, really hot. All right, our dough is almost ready. It's a little bit um, sticky, so in order to make it a little smooth, I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of oil as well, cooking oil. If you want, you can add a tablespoon of melted butter or ghee. That works great too. And we'll set it aside for 30 minutes so that lactic acid and yogurt can react with baking soda and we can make a nice coach out of it. Made like a little well in the center of the dough and I'm just going to add one tablespoon of oil. All right, then we'll just blend it in. Mix it in with the dough and set it aside for 30 minutes. All right, this is ready. We'll set it aside. Our dough is ready. Now we'll simply uh, grab a small piece, make round dough balls, and then flatten them out with a rolling pin and then put them in the oven or on a skillet. So I have here about 10 round dough balls and I'm going to flatten them out and put them on the skillet. And like I mentioned, you can put them in the oven as well. But normally when I'm making them in advance for like say, if I'm making them during lunch to eat them for dinner, then I normally prefer making them on my skillet. To eat them fresh, I'll prepare them in the oven. So simply flattening it out. You can use your hand if you don't have a rolling pin. And if it starts sticking, you can always use a little bit of dry flour, all-purpose, all-whole wheat. Once the dough is flattened out, go ahead and put it on the skillet. And cook it on medium-high until both sides are brown, just like you would do a roti or chapati. All right, both sides are nice and brown. It's done. We'll go ahead, put on some butter and serve it with our curry of choice. So my stack of kulchas is ready. I'm going to enjoy them for next couple of days. And hey, you try them out sometime and let me know what you think of this recipe. And I will be looking forward to your comments. So do let me know about your favorite Indian bread.